hot dogs are pretty far down the food chain when it comes to grilled foods. However, if you're hosting a backyard get-together and plan to invite more than a handful of people, you really can't go wrong with a handful of dogs. What makes them just so wonderful is that they're both cheap and popular, meaning they're always a surefire hit at any BBQ, even if everyone would rather you didn't discuss what actually goes in them. You know they make those things out of us yet, you know? Lips and ass <laughs> Despite being the director of culinary operations at the Institute of Culinary Education, Frank Proto is no food snob, so he's been good enough to let us in on the secrets of grilling hot dogs. Although Proto insists that hot dogs are kind of a no-brainer as far as food prep goes, he does say that there's one step you shouldn't skip if you want to turn out some fabulous Franks. So what is this mystical step? Well, as Proto says, preheating and cleaning your grill is one of the most important steps of grilling. Each time you get out the grill, you should be heating it up for at least 20 minutes before you even think about putting on the dogs. After the grill has preheated, you should clean the grates with a scrubber or a wire brush. A stainless steel grill brush in good condition is recommended. Although porcelain or enamel-coated grill grates are better suited to a softer metal like brass. Once you've cleaned off the grates, Proto says you should then give them a light coating of oil so the meat doesn't stick. These same steps should be used for grilling burgers as well. And the bottom line is that, as long as you get that routine of preheating, scrubbing, and oiling down to a T, then grilling the hot dogs themselves will be easy peasy. Although Proto does have one final tip to offer, just don't burn them. Still, while it's reassuring to know that it's hard to really mess up a grilled hot dog, it can never hurt to know a few hints and tips. Ready, Set, Eat has one such helpful trick that you should always position hot dogs on the grill perpendicular to the grates. This will not only give them those highly photogenic grill marks, but it'll also make sure they don't slip through the grates, which is about as embarrassing a mistake as you could possibly make. Mm. Well, that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ready, Set, Eat also suggests that you should always use barbecue tongs to roll your hot dogs over as they're cooking, so each side comes into contact with the grill. They suggest cooking until the ends of the hot dogs start splitting, and say that, while your results may vary, it should take about five to seven minutes to cook regular-sized franks. Jumbo sausages may take seven to 10 minutes, while those quarter-pound behemoths could take up to 15 minutes. But what if you really want to take your hot dog game to the next level? What else could you possibly do to prove to your friends and family that you really are the master of the grill? Well, as it turns out, there is one thing you can do. You can spiral cut them. And it just so happens that the skills editor at the kitchen has come up with the perfect spiral cut hot dog technique. If you, too, are a fan of fancy-looking hot dogs with those extra crispy edges, the secret is, apparently, to use a skewer. If you insert a wooden skewer lengthwise through each hot dog's center before you spiral cut it, they say you won't wind up accidentally cutting all the way through. Once the skewer's in place, take a sharp knife and holding it at a 45-degree angle, make your spiraling cut from one hot dog tip to the other. Once you cook up those spiralized franks, they will not only look awesome and taste delicious, but you could even insert cheese slices or pieces of bacon in the slits to make a loaded frank. Now that's impressive. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about food prep tips are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.